Times Square. Okay, right there. Maybe she just looks at her. Oh my god. There's something in there. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day three of the beach trip. It's crazy we're only on day three, that's sad. I do not want it to go by fast. This morning, I've been up for a while. I don't think I was the first one up, I think mama was. But today, we are having breakfast. Mom fixed biscuits and gravy and grits. I could just totally wake up this every morning and be like, so happy to see that. It would never get old. But I woke up and I had a blood vessel burst in my eye, guys. I don't know what happened, but it's kind of freaky, but whatever. But we're gonna enjoy breakfast and then we're gonna go I think to the beach or swimming I'm not really sure what the deal is yet but once I find out the plan I will let you guys know so I'm actually upstairs in my parents room and that is because everyone is gone they've all left they had to go run um, off the island and go grab something so they are on the way actually back to the house I decided to stay home because I decided to be an adult and be responsible and edit my video so you guys had a video up for yesterday so that's what I was doing so I decided just to stay home and get some editing done and I actually finished I think they should be here in just a little bit They had to go to a store and the funny thing is it's only like a five mile drive from our house But because you're on the island and the speed limit and everything it takes like 30 minutes to get there It's like an hour round trip But I'm about to go lay out for a little bit while I wait for them to get back And then I think we're gonna go to the beach or we might go swimming I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna go lay out because I really want to get some sun Okay guys, so I actually just went outside and went tanning and now I put on this hat just because I do not want my face getting burnt and also my sunglasses are like really tight right here and if I wear them for a really long period of time they'll give me a headache so I have a cough drop in my mouth just because my throat is starting to hurt again I'm gonna tough it up and I'm gonna be a big girl we're gonna go outside and enjoy the pool so I think I'm about to go jump in the pool just because it's getting kind of hot outside it's already 5 30 we've been outside literally for like two three hours now okay guys so I'm actually wearing makeup for like the first time in a few days so I actually look pretty decent right now but right now we are at dinner and we're going to the sanitary which is a fish restaurant I do not eat fish I'm actually allergic to some fish we're gonna go in the sanitary which um it's a really cool restaurant because it's like right on the water so we're gonna go eat I think I already know what I'm getting but tea, I'll have to see unless something has changed on the menu but let's go inside and I'll see you guys there okay so I did not film in there just because we were eating dinner and plus they were getting ready to close so we kind of just ate real fast but we have something really exciting happening we are going to go exploring we're gonna go explore some haunted places down here at the beach because there's two cities not too far away from our house that are like really haunted there's one city that's like strictly haunted I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of Beaufort before Blackbeard you know all that history so we're gonna go down there and go exploring there's a bunch of stuff like a graveyard a haunted asylum different houses that have some really crazy history hotels and inns and we're gonna try to hit up as many places as we possibly we can and give you guys a little bit of a backstory behind it and also just to go see if we can find any stuff Riley's got a map yes, here look, it has the whole town perfect so this is kind of gonna be a really exciting vlog just because we've been wanting to go exploring for a while now mom are you excited I'm very excited I'm so ready. Oh my gosh. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun yeah and it's I'm into haunted stuff I me mean. too and guys if you can look outside it's dark so that just ups the like scared level a little more so we're gonna go and see See if we can find some paranormal stuff i'm really excited so if you guys are excited to see some exploring stuff happen and some haunted stuff possibly make sure you keep watching because it's about to get real our first stop is the web memorial it's this freaky building behind me i don't know why but this building just gives me the creeps it looks freaky and if you look you can't see it on camera but like right in that area over there apparently there's a red light like do you guys see the red light i don't see it wait it just turned if you look right this way, you can see the red light in the very, the very top of that corner. Area. Yes. I see it. There's a red light. I don't know what that is. Kind of freaky. Why is there a red light on in the oh, library? Look inside of it. Yeah, come here. It's like in that, that tiny just square. Me. Oh my god, that woman. There's a woman walking right there. Hey. Maybe she just looks at her. 
hey y'all? Where was she talking to herself? Okay, I don't know. You can go do tours here and you can see like freaky stuff happen, paranormal stuff. You can actually take your camera, take pictures, and you'll probably see a ghost go by. Also, you have the possibility of seeing books move. Just a bunch of freaky stuff, temperature drops, you know, all the crazy paranormal stuff. But we're gonna go, my camera keeps going blurry. Oh my god. My face kept going blurry the whole time we were touching so. Oh my god, that's happening. When they, when they, they say that, Wait. Like, that's like a ghost. That means like a ghost is near. It means it's like in between here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Mom, go like this. You can feel like a cold right in front of Kayla's face. Go. Oh, I do. Oh. Do you feel it? Oh. Guys, it's blurry. Hold on one second. Oh my gosh, look how blurry it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at that. Oh. Okay, now it's not blurry. Oh. What in the on. world? Anyways, we're going to walk around this building and see if we can see any crazy stuff happen. Here's the Haunted Web Memorial. The place just looks freaky. Okay, so there's this little like courtyard thing right here which looks really freaky and there's a sign that says garden closes at dusk. This is also the area where I saw the red light. You can't see it though, but there's a red light on in this building and it feels really freezing right here. Do you feel it? What? Is it water running? Yeah. Look at the kid. There's a toy. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is weird. Okay, it's freezing right here. Do you hear the water? Yes, okay. Let's keep walking and see if we can find anything. Okay, so I think I told, told you guys how it was like really cold over there. And that is weird because we actually came like a little further down, walked past away from the garden, and then it got warm again. I don't know. It felt like literally Antarctica by that gate. What? What? Where? Okay, my mom says there's a stick in the window. Oh my gosh, you can't see it up there. I got a question. There's a stick in that window up there. Yeah. Freaky. Okay, yeah. Officially the front of the library. It looks just as freaky as the other side. So, here we go. Okay, so, I don't know. This area is like kind of freaky, honestly. I don't know how to explain it, but. We're gonna go to our next stop, which is Beaufort, which basically the entire town is haunted pretty much. <laughs> so we should be able to see something there, but I don't know. This area is just giving me the like, if creeps. Like, every time we go by the gate, it gets like, really, really, really cold. Yeah, and look how blurry it gets as soon as we get to this building. I don't understand. You feel how cold it gets right here? Come right here. Like it literally, it's freezing. Yeah, I'm going. Okay, we're leaving. We're gonna go to Beaufort. Weird stuff, weird stuff, guys. Let's go to the next spot. So my mom has been nice enough to hold the flashlight because it's dark out here. We've made it to Beaufort and we are at our first stop here. We're at the Beaufort's old burial ground and it's right behind me, right there. It's closed due to cleanup because of Hurricane Florence that came through. They're still in the process of cleaning it for some reason, but anyways, we're mainly here because there is this one grave that there's this little girl that sadly she passed because her dad was a pirate I guess she can say and he was going from London back to their home in Beaufort she begged her parents to let her go on this adventure and her mom was not wanting her to but finally she got her parents convinced enough to let her go and somehow I'm not sure what the reasoning but she had to crawl into a barrel and apparently she died on her way back home to Beaufort so they buried her here at the old burial ground and to this day people still come to her grave and visit her but people come and they put toys on her grave and she apparently will play with the toys at night because when people come back to see they their place, toys yeah they place them in like a certain spot to where they remember it so then whenever they come back it's a move at the spot they purposely placed it in yeah exactly so like the toys have been rearranged and so she's buried in the barrel that she died in so kind of freaky we're gonna show you that but first we're gonna walk around this see if we can see any crazy stuff happening but like we said sadly we couldn't go in there but let's see if we can find anything Look at this. Oh, I thought it was a spider. Oh my gosh, I hate bugs. <laughs> Here is some of the tombstones. Oh my gosh. Guys, look in there. Are those like where the caskets are supposed to be? I don't know why they're like. Guys, look at that. What if like a hand came out like an old hedge Oh my gosh, you were so blurry. Did you all hear that? Did you hear that? I heard it. Oh my god. Someone in there. 
here. There's something in there. This is a new gate that they have added on. If you guys can see this, that in there, it's hard to see it, but that is the original gate right there. Built this new addition. It's kind of different. I thought I heard someone talking. I know it does. Has that person passed by your twice? Yes, they've That's passed by us multiple they times. Are they gonna run the stoplight? Hey, Cree. Speed kills. Okay, let's keep walking and see if we can see any other freaky stuff because I've seen a lot. I did end up taking a picture of the gate with my flash on my phone, so I'm gonna start that right there. That's what I was talking about, how there was a new gate addition added in front of the old gate. We usually see the old gate. I've never seen this new one, but also we haven't been here since like two years ago, so. Like, look how bad my hair is blowing. I mean, my hair was barely even blowing on the other side. And this is the side where the little girl's grave is. Let's go see, and I'll show you all the toys and stuff. Oh my gosh, possum! What? Possum! Where? Oh my gosh. It won't reach that far. It's down there. It ran. See it? Okay, so when you walk closer to the little girl's grave, the wind just picks up. Watch. Okay, so... Look at this wind, guys. Here is the little girl's grave. As you can see, there is a ton of toys on there. I mean, anything ranges from like a bunny to seashells and rocks that people have painted, like beads, necklaces. There is a bunch of crazy noises happening. I think this is our last stop at the grave because there's really nothing else. And I think we're gonna go by one more spot, like a house or something. As you guys can see, this is the gate to get into the old burial grounds. So I think this is our last stop, is this house right here. Mom's not gonna shine the flashlight just because it is someone's house. We're assuming someone still lives here, but this originally was called the Elizabeth Inn. And there's someone around a bicycle stair. Okay. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry for coughing in the background. Mom, sorry for coughing in the background so much, she's sick. <laughs> I know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's so sick. This used to be called the Elizabeth Inn. Captain built it. He used to live here, and apparently his, like, help murdered him with an oar. And he was sentenced to death and hung in Beaufort somewhere down here. And apparently it's super haunted. I don't know what happens because no one has said yet, but apparently, like, it's either the captain or the butler or the help that haunts this place. So, like, if you're on the grounds or in the house, like apparently you'll hear and see stuff. So I haven't seen anything except just, I just know this wind is ridiculous. Ever since I started talking about it, it's like blowing my hair really far. So sorry, we're leaving. But anyways, that's the history on this. I think this is our last spot. Okay guys, so it is the next morning. I'm coming back on the, in this video. I hope y'all enjoyed that exploring video. It was a lot of fun. We did see some creepy stuff and we also heard a ton of noises, so kind of freaky but if you guys enjoyed this video check out these other ones right here also give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys tomorrow